Engineering is all about putting understanding of the physical world actually to use to make devices or processes uh, for the betterment of mankind. The first years are completely general, which is one of the reasons I was attracted to it, because I had no idea which field I would specialise in. And in fact, you don't have to make up your mind which branch of engineering you want to specialise in until relatively late on in the course. You can specialise in mechanical, structural, uh, materials engineering, aerothermal engineering, electrical engineering, manufacturing, information studies, which is to do with telecommunications and signal processing. So I've just specialised in fluid mechanics, although it may seem as though I've specialised quite heavily. Um, a mix of modules could still fall under either energy and environment or aerospace and aerothermal engineering. So they really do try and keep it as open as possible for as long as possible. My favourite thing about the course is project work. In my second year, the integrated design project it was very interesting. It was quite open-ended and we could do anything we wanted with it. And it was quite rewarding when it actually worked out. We have four exchange schemes whereby our students in the third year will go abroad to various parts of Europe and the rest of the world and do a year there. We have very strong links with industry. Our research in particular is very much inspired by our industry contacts but also industry is involved with our undergraduates. The university has a requirement that we do eight weeks industrial work. We have a coordinator who is very helpful. He even managed to recommend me to a place in Sri Lanka which I really enjoyed. There's also the language unit which gives you, I guess, a unique opportunity to study languages within your own department. Even at these times, I think that most of our graduates do get jobs, either immediately on graduating or not too long afterwards. Employers really value the Cambridge degree. They see how the skills you've learned can be applied to any industry. So I could go and say work in aerospace or energy, and that ties into the modules. Really, whatever avenue you want is open to you. A lot of our students become engineers and also move into different disciplines uh, that are not essentially engineering based. We have companies picking up our students because they're known for their problem solving. You should have a genuine interest in technical things. How often do you ask yourself questions? When you see something working, are you just fascinated by how it works? Or are you actually doing some research to find out how it works? Uh, but when you come to interview, firstly, be relaxed. If you don't normally wear a tie, then don't wear a tie. And be prepared to answer questions based on your personal statement. I would say that the most important thing you could do is show how enthusiastic you are about engineering. Read books, go on courses, anything you can do to show that engineering is really what you want to do.